J.W. Hunt. Incidentally, don't get AAB confused with Blackwells. Also based in Oxford, their book search service is completely different. And lots of calls tonight. Mr. and Mrs. Holman from Hindhead in Surrey have called. In August, they went on holiday to Portugal and left their car in one of those private car parks just outside Gatwick Airport. They were told to leave the keys with an attendant. When they got back, they found that the car had mysteriously clocked up 65 miles. The company say the car had to be moved to an overflow car park. And that's all Alice has time for. But our phone lines are open till nine. After that, there are answer phones. And from all of us here on Watchdog, good night. Some party coming up very soon on BBC One. White Heat on BBC Two now reports on man's efforts at harnessing technology in order to rid nature of dirt and disorder. Four-year-old Scarborough fire victim Natasha Jones arrives at Sheffield Hospital. She's travelled a hundred miles to claim the care she needs. It's a ward with a maximum capacity of five beds, a ward which has turned away 27 children in six weeks. A ward where every consultation is a warning and every parent is in shock. It's a ward dealing with intense pain, under intense pressure. The Intensive Care Unit, Children's Hospital, Thursday at 8, BBC One. Bob sets his sights on higher society in Seaforth. Saw a bloke tonight. Oh, I fucking be in his shoes. You don't know what a job is until you can't get one year after year after year. I want you to come and see us. I can't stop you wanting. What is this place? The club. You promised me that if I married you, you'd stick with a job, any job, for a year. Evening, Mr. Stacey. If I could be inside a suit like that. You could do anything. Seaforth, Sunday at 9 on BBC One. And there's high drama at the Queen Vic on BBC One. It's EastEnders. <laughs> Side it on? Yeah. All right. What can I do with all the presents? Put them on the back, eh? Well, are we supposed to put them on the table or something so people can see them? Better not. Some of them might walk. Well, that's the point. Right, mate. Lay the champagne glasses out for us, will you? Where? It don't matter. It's just as long as we can get to them later. Mm. Everything all right? I can murder a drink. Right. Binny, get those couple of bottles of beer, will you? All right. You know, I'm sure we've forgotten something. Well, if we have, it's a bit late now, isn't it? Well, cake's upstairs, food's ready, disco's here. Oh, what about the champagne? It's in the fridge. Steve's laying out the glasses. Super. Come here. Relax. It's going to be a great night. 